someone uh, asked me a question which they themselves said was an interesting question and I too believe that it was an interesting question to ask me uh, because of the the type of individual that I am I don't subscribe to saying that my style or system is better than yours or the next individuals uh, but this question sort of leads us to answer question as to whether my style is better than someone else an individual or that individual's style so let's tackle it the way it was asked to me someone asked the question which of my Genindo fighters could beat Jet Li, Steven Seagal, or even Chuck Norris? Seagal, Jet Li, and Chuck Norris. Which of my systems fighters? First of all, let's make this real simple. I don't call myself a fighter. I don't call any of my students or adepts fighters. It's sort of a broad term when you say fighter. It can be used and applied in so many different ways. Being able to take care of yourself is one thing. And just being a fighter is a, another thing. Now, if uh, my system of Jen and Doe was to challenge or be challenged by one of those three individuals that was just mentioned, Jet Li, Chuck Norris, or Steven Seagal, uh, nothing would become of it because I personally would not accept any challenge, nor would I allow any of my students to accept a challenge because that defeats the whole purpose of what martial arts is martial science it's only a way of create creatively expressing one's self through fighting uh, if you want to use that term again fighting or fighting and uh, never to be used for the purpose of saying that you're greater than another individual only to be used as deemed necessary to protect you, your loved ones, or the weak. That's it and that's all. So to me that's sort of uh, a childish uh, question. No disrespect to the person that asked me the question. But I don't play those games as it relates to martial arts. I can beat you, you can beat me, this kind of stuff. So uh, if I were to compare my system to any other martial arts master or another system, I would say that it stands on its own, on its own uniqueness. Now, uh, what would I compare it to? Everything. Jin and Do. Jin in a very natural do way, very natural way. Uh, that's a Japanese word terminology. And what it simply means is using your tools, human being, your hands, your feet, your head, your body in general, in a very natural way. Not a whole lot of ornamentation, not a whole lot of superfluous types of movements everything is practical for the most part and it has a purpose as it relates to being practical in a street situation or a fighting situation and also very natural way means that every student of mine develops their own individual and unique skills based on their own inbred, inborn, natural talent. That's very natural for them. I don't want my students to be just like me. 
it's impossible to be just like me because I am brother teacher. I am Grandmaster Stroud. I am Reginald. You can't be me. Now you can admire me. You can look up to me. But you can't be me. Just like I can't be uh, Chuck Norris. I can't be Jackie Chan. I can't be Bruce Lee. I can't be John claude Van Damme. I can't be Seagal. I can't be Ed Parker. I can't be anyone other than myself. I'm on my own journey trying to perfect me as much as I can. And everyone else should be on their own individual and unique journey. We can admire one another and we can borrow concepts and principles from one another. But let's leave it at that. So I respect Chuck Norris as a martial artist and a successful actor and businessman. Stop. I respect Steven Seagal as a martial artist and as an actor. And I don't know about the business side of it, but I will say for lack of knowledge, I'll assume a businessman as well. I do believe while I'm on the subject briefly uh, and I don't know all of his particular issues I believe Steven Seagal for his health sake should lose a significant amount of weight if he wants to live a wholesome and longer fulfilling life as an Aikido master showing us an example of what a complete martial arts master should look like or the figure that he should embody as a martial arts master of his caliber. Now Jet Li, older man now, very talented, wushu expert, he studied other things as well. I have a great deal of respect for him as a martial artist and an actor. The business part I'm not aware of again, but Jet Li is good. Now, if I were to compare myself to Jet Li, I wouldn't say that I'm better. I would say that we would complement one another. If I were to compare myself to Steven Seagal, I have a great deal of respect for his uh, accumulation of skill throughout his career in the martial arts. I wouldn't say I'm better. I just wouldn't. I have a great deal of respect for Chuck Norris as a martial artist. Uh, I think, honestly, Chuck Norris has always been an average martial arts practitioner. Not above the top. If I were to compare the three, I would say that Jet Li and Steven Seagal are well more versed in martial arts skill and agility than Chuck Norris. I just would. And I'm not beating up on Chuck Norris. I'm just simply saying. Now, mind you, I say this again from a place of humility. And I say this. Um, I've never had a vacation from martial arts. Now, here I'm entering into this next month, my 50th year as a martial arts practitioner. I haven't been sleeping. I've never had a vacation. I've never slumbered. I have always been analyzing, studying, practicing, training, and teaching for that whole period of time. So I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm talking about. So when I give my viewpoint as it relates to martial arts, it's not by happenstance. I didn't pull it out of a cloud. 
I have lived this thing called martial arts and not one simple discipline. I have delved into many disciplines and I think, I believe, that I've had the best of many worlds as it relates to martial arts. So I know what I'm talking about and it's not my opinion. It's my viewpoint based on what I have seen, practiced, taught, and experienced in 50 years of the martial arts. So, you can take that for what it's worth. My hat goes off to all three of those individuals that I just mentioned that this individual asked me, do I have a fighter? Or which of my fighters could beat those individuals that I just mentioned? Jet Li, uh, Chuck Norris, and Steven Seagal. I would not even allow my students to engage in such folly. Now, in the true sense of Jen and Doe, at this point as I'm speaking to you in this video, there's only two, maybe three individuals in my complete system that could ever really truly display the spirit of Jen and Doe. The first one is me, brother teacher. I'm the founder of the system. No one can ever surpass me when I'm the reason for it being and existing. And if there were a second person I would choose who could truly embody my system or who's close to me, that would be my son and maybe one other. And that's it. Not more than three at this present time. So, I am Jen and Doe. I am the system of Jen and Doe. And that's really it. And that's all. I hope that I have answered the individual's question that was posed to me. I respect and honor every practitioner of every discipline of martial arts. And who am I to judge anyone? I can tell you some things that's wrong with people who don't put in the time or who slap things together that have no foundation, no real meaningful foundation as far as martial arts is concerned. I can criticize that. But if you are worth your weight as a martial arts practitioner, then you should speak it, you should look it, and you should be it. This is Brother Teacher, let me know what you think about what I just said. Take care.